One person has died and two others injured after a residential building collapsed in the Woji area of Port Harcourt. Both the dead and the injured were bricklayers working on a family apartment when the incident occurred. The owner of the building, Ejike Ngoda, said the collapse was triggered by the severe flooding that hit parts of Port Harcourt following Tuesday's heavy downpour. My wife called me and told me that my gate was open. The big gate was open. I have a drainage that I did personally. So if you check from up there, you see that the whole water that comes from Woji, Oborama, and Apamini retired back to this my gate. But somebody came and opened that gate. The whole flood yesterday was inside my compound. Not to take the, it was no more taking only the gutter. Take, the water was not passing through the gutter alone. It was taking through my uh, compound to this place. That's how we see this damage yesterday. So what we did is to get an engineer. An engineer said they should get Rosal to just stop further uh, uh, for this thing before oh, he just to one is alive, then the other one is dead. Two of the survivors, Iboro Emmanuel and Stephen Otong, narrated their experience to our correspondent while the chairman of Obio Ako local government area, George Ariolu, where the incident happened called for an investigation into the incident. Even this has, has followed the foundation. The one thing, this thing happened to them, in I come in, I should come and help. Along the line, the place that will stay to work. So the person very close to me, he just tell me to ship. Along the line, when I ship, a long year block from my hair home. And this this my neighbor, my hand drag me come out there. Along the line, the person way there close to me. He just go die as a spot. I was in the house, one of the one of the engineers came to my house and called me that I should come and assist a neighbor that his house is almost collapsing. So when we came down to the site, we saw the Place. It was very bad. So what we were like trying to do that yesterday, we wanted to reinforce the place in order to save the building. So at the process of that, we were digging the foundation. So it happened that I stretched my hand in order to collect stretch armor. Stretch armor. That was how I was being saved. Apart from that, I would have been a, one of the victim of it. So my colleague was, was behind me. The old thing collapsed on his head, so that is how he died. And uh, I sympathize with the owner of the said property, who happened to be an indigenous of Obia, but I sympathize with him and his family. I also sympathize with uh, the families of the person I had lost his life through that uh, process. I sympathize with them. But it's uh, as in what is the cause and how it will be taken care of. It will be ascertained that uh, on the spot assessment, 